Let's start with uh, an easy question. How did you start to play? What did you start playing? I, I played keyboard first, piano, piano. I, um, my earliest music memory was um, New Jack Swing. I, New Jack Swing. I used to love Bobby Brown. Bobby Teddy, Brown. Teddy Riley was my favorite. Yeah. And Babyface. Wow. Um, my first album was Michael Jackson Dangerous. And yeah, man. I just, I just yeah. felt, I felt a really strong connection with it. And, you know, it influenced a lot of my appreciation for music and I suppose I got really into production and arranging before I even knew what it was. Yeah. But um, I did a little dab on the keyboards, but it wasn't until age 15 when I picked up the guitar. Um, I got inspired by Ben Harper, ben Harper. and my brother Barry, who um, played guitar and he was into Jimi Hendrix and Bob Dylan and everything, and he, he really inspired me. I, I owe a lot to my brother, and um, he got me into guitar, and I bought my first guitar at age 15. My mother bought it for me, and I started writing songs. I always wrote poetry inspired by, like, Tupac was my favorite. Tupac, yeah. I just loved how he could transport people to feeling what he felt even though they weren't in the same predicament like you know but Arrested Development and you know, Baby Face they were people who really inspired me and I started writing back then but it wasn't until about age 16 I started writing songs like I was all about writing finishing a song out of it poetry and um, John Mayer really inspired me and Prince, especially around age 16, I really delved into Prince, and I'm 29 now, so I've been in Prince for 13 years. And um, yeah, at what age you started the playing the piano? Um, my mum says two, but I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember. I, can't, I, I, I think she means I was in diapers, just banging. But wow, I, I do remember when my sister was born, when I was about three. I remember being about like. We moved house when I was four, and I remember trying to play like Boys to Men, I'll yeah. Make Love to You, and On Bended Knee, and that album, which was Babyface, really. And I, I remember trying to figure out that stuff. It's on video camera, but uh, <laughs> that, that was my earliest piano. Yeah. It was, it was the most accessible, but guitar really made me focus on crafting my, my own art. Do you ever study academic stuff in the schools or...? I, I studied music in year 11 and 12, but um, I didn't really... I didn't finish anything. Like, I just wanted to play and wanted to teach myself, and I thought music was best audi audibly, like hearing it, by hearing it. Like, I, I, did, I did study a six-week jazz course earlier last year, but um, yeah, I just I just wanted to learn the foundations of like you know minor sevens and minor nines, and yeah, just to be able to communicate with other musicians rather than saying hey that you know that thing that thing <laughs> like, but yeah, yeah. but still I think music's audible. You know the best teacher is your ears. Regardless, like I agree, ears is your best teacher. Absolutely. And uh, another question: What about the Australian uh, the Australian scene right now? The what Australian does it, scene. What does it offer? Um, is, is it your well, staff or you decided to move I, I, because? I, 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 think, I think Australia is great, but I've been told that Australia only really contributes a fraction of maybe like three percent to the music industry, and we've got a few really good artists like. Obviously, ACDC and of course Goitier and John Butler Trio really doing Temper Trap, doing good things for Australia. But Australia really is a country that you know loves loves sport and loves you know like you know, is having a good time, loves the beach, loves barbecues, and it's like Europe and America are known more for the arts and cultural things like you know like blues music and all that jazz music like Australia's not really known for that Australia is more focused on you know sports which isn't wrong or right but, no, no, well, of course. but you know the, the opportunities that may arise from being in London or even Europe uh -huh. rather than Australia I think are more you know 
they're more useful of us, yeah, yeah, like they're more of us. Like you might here in Australia you might see like Jimmy Barnes, who's one of our heroes, who's an incredible singer. You might see him in the street and you know, he might like you or whatever. We're here, you might see Paul McCartney's yeah. cousin. He might invite you for a jam with Paul or so. Like everyone's just over here and I really wanted to move here to expand my roots. Not my roots, but expand my you know, my music and vocabulary, meet musicians, grow more as an artist, write songs, and uh, yeah, you know, meet more musicians and tra travel the world. Like, I, I love everything about Europe and, yeah. you know, the UK as well. And I just wanted to really experience that and growth, growth as a man, growth as an artist. But yeah. So right now you're in London. What's, uh, what are your, your future projects? What are you expecting well, from, from I've, London? Good question, man. I've, <laughs> ju I, I've just I've just released an EP called Nina, which is a five-track EP, which I recorded with some friends back in Sydney. Um, my first time I recorded to tape, and I just released that about a week ago. And I my I really want to find management because I realise that I've been doing the grassroots thing and self-promotion for you know since I was 20 years old. So that's nine years ago, and there's only so far you can go without yeah. without management or a booking agent. So my, my goal really in London is to find someone that I can partner with and, you know, try and take it to the next level. I, I, I don't really want to be famous like Prince or anything, I just want to be able to survive off my original music rather than... In Sydney I was surviving off music, playing other people's music and playing guitar and sessions, but... I want to survive off my music. I want to be, you know, fruitful of creating my own art and be able to go to, you know, Tokyo and play in front of 200 people. Yeah. Now that's my goal at the moment. Like, it might change, but that's where I see it at the moment. Just okay. being realistic and yeah, man. What, what I can offer. Okay. Right now, what what do you love? What which artists? What what do you listen to? Right now, the last artist I've been really um digging a lot of kind of I suppose Leanne Le Havas I bought her last album Blood and um, I bought Israel and New Breed's last album he's a gospel artist I've been loving and um, there's actually uh, this new kid Jacob Collier who's an incredible singer and he also plays every instrument pretty much I think Quincy Jones just signed him I've been digging him a lot and um, it's been getting back into the yeah. Old school stuff. Old school. Like um, Marvin Gaye, Joni Mitchell, <laughs> you know, like 60s, 70s. And, yeah. Nice music. I've been, I've been going back. Of course. Obviously, Prince. Prince. There's always new Prince. Prince that I find. Prince. That, you know, he, <laughs> Prince it's is, a fucking Prince nano. Is, Prince, is, Prince, is, Prince is the guy for me. Yeah. Prince is my, my go to man. When, you know, we know, yeah. we all know. <laughs> he's a genius. He's Prince. my hero. He's <laughs> <is, is> your <laughs> hero. hero. Yeah. <laughs> And last question, uh, your impression about Italy and the I, three I, days you've been here in Milan? I, I love Italy <laughs> primarily because of my friend Marco, yeah. who's just made it feel like home. But, uh, you know, the crowds have been great, like Marco's friends and your friends, man, you yourself, like everyone's just been really warm and open to music and, you know, open to supporting original music. and. Even the cover things, like you could do an, a Prince song and people will like it. Like, it's different from Australia. Like, you might, they, they, they only like what they know, I suppose. Where it seems here they're open to hearing new things. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's great, not to mention the architecture and the food and <laughs> other things, but all that aside, it's been really great musically. and. It's been really, really fruitful, like you know, hanging with some really good people. And it's all, all respect to my friend Marco for making it happen. Uh, uh, Marco Volgar, yeah. 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 Say goodbye to Italian, the Italian Soul the friends. ItalianSoul.com. Yeah. And um, yeah, get behind them. Dario, Nico, <laughs> Michael. They're, they're doing good things. Michael, they're doing all good things. Thank you. Yes. It's like sunny now, so. Let's go play! Yeah, Let's go jam! Okay! <laughs> Goodbye, man!